to take one more look at some coordinates, patterns, and some other type questions that we will be asked to solve involving coordinate planes. This one is asking about a pattern, but you see that this time the ordered pairs have not been written in a chart. It doesn't matter how they're written, we're still going to going to compare the x values to each other. So I've got a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 4. How are those x values changing? Well, it's plus 1 to get 2, plus 1 to get 3, plus 1 to get 4. So our x coordinate pattern is plus or add 1. For the y coordinates, I've got 4, 5, 6, and 7. This pattern is also plus 1. Now I'm going to use these patterns that I found to find the next ordered pair. Well, I had looking at the x's, 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, next would be 5. 5 what? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So my next ordered pair would be 5, 8. Same thing that we've been doing, just written in a different way. On this one, we're going to plot these points and connect them to make line segments and then answer a question about it. For our first line segment, we have 3, 4, so 3, 4, and it's going to go to point 3, 8, so 3, 8, all right? So now I'm going to connect those points, try to make it thicker so that you can see that this would be line segment a. All right, let's look at this one, line segment B. That one was two and one half. Okay, well here's two, there's three. Two and one half would have to be here in the middle. Two and one half, one. Two, three and one half, one. Connect those points and call this line segment B. All right, Next one, line segment C, 7 and 5 tenths, which if you remember, 5 tenths is equivalent to 1 half. So I'm going to 7 and then halfway more, 7 and a half, 7. Okay, so here's 7 and a half, but I need to get up to 7. This one's going to be right here. And then 7 and a half, which is where I was, this time up to 9. So that would be from here to here and this is line segment C. All right, the question this time is which one is four units long? Well, a unit would be one whole space, and this one went from two and a half to three and a half, so this one's only one unit long. This one went from seven to eight and eight to nine. This one's two units long. This, A, is one, two, three, four segments long. Let me show you what I just did. One, two, three, four. I counted how many spaces it moved up. So which segment is four units long? That would be line segment A. All right, the last type of question we're going to see is about some coordinate shapes. And I have two different questions here. First one, Harrison plotted two vertices of an isosceles triangle. Remember what that is? What are the possible coordinates of the missing vertex? Well, Harrison's coordinates are here in the black. Notice these are red for my next question. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and connect those two points. And you see that it's the start of a triangle. Now, isosceles. Isosceles triangles are triangles that have two sides the same length. Most often it's their left and their right sides, it doesn't have to be, but two sides do have to be equal in length or congruent. So the question is what are the possible coordinates of the missing vertex? Well, if my triangle was diagonal here, I'm presuming it would be straight across here, then right here I could connect this and the right and left would be congruent, and this would be my flat bottom side. And so right here was what point, what coordinate? 4, 6. 
So a possible vertex to finish this isosceles triangle would be 4, 6. On this next question, Haley has plotted a square. I see her four points. They've not been connected. Stephanie English, line two. Stephanie English, line two. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and connect those points to see Haley's square. And now I have it. The question is, which ordered pair would be inside her figure? Okay, so inside is going to have to be one of these in here. So let's just check our choices and see which one is true. 7, 0. That would be down here. That is not it. B, 8, 2. 8, 2. Notice that when I plot this point, it is inside the figure, so I'm thinking that this is it, but you know we check every choice. 7, 4. 7, 4. Now that was close, but notice it's along that outside of the square. It's right along that segment that's already there, so that's not inside the shape. So no to C. And the last one to check is 2, 6, which would be right here. And that's a definite no, nowhere near my square. So my answer is B. 8, 2 would be inside Haley's square. In your math journal, I would like for you to find the pattern in these coordinates, these ordered pairs, and determine the next one as well. In your math journal, I have given you a coordinate grid to plot these points on. I would like for you to make these line segments and determine which is the longest. And I do have one more question for you. I'm sorry I couldn't make it fit on this board. So pause right now, answer these two, and then I'll show you the last one. All right, last one is one of these shapes. I'll let you read that one and figure out where could this possible missing vertex be.